uh, Rajesh to uh, make his presentation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you, Professor Chandra. Um, it's a very interesting, uh, you know, congregation of people here. You know, I was very pleasantly surprised initially uh, when ISA invited us uh, to basically talk about local innovation in telecom and how, you know, the, the fact that telecom was chosen as a market or as a, as a stream to talk about and share our ideas. I think it's the most talked about sector right now. I think in the last five to seven years, people have seen tremendous amount of uh, not only just innovation, innovation happening at extreme level, innovation, but I mean, purely from a market entry point of view, you've seen a lot of uh, foreign investment happening in telecom. You've seen Indian companies or pure play Indian uh, telcos going and taking a center stage globally. I think that is a very interesting trend. I think one classic example, and I think which, which will partly, uh, you know, answer a bit of question from uh, Dr. Chandra is mm -hmm. that innovations, uh, is it only product innovation or is it you know, the cost model innovation as well. And I think Bharti Airtel, uh, what it did in India, when it started with the innovation mm -hmm. strategy of cost model, exactly <coughs> the same is being replicated in Africa, which is a very similar economy like ours. And I think the point here that I'm going to also, during the course of my presentation, talk about, I'm going to mm -hmm. show and talk about the trending, uh, specifically in the telecom, what are the areas that people are working on, what innovations have had happened in the... Uh, the operator side of things, innovation, the pricing strategy, uh, innovation from the entrepreneur ecosystem, companies like, for, for example, ourselves. A lot of these, a uh, lot of people who have now woken up to the fact that, uh, uh, you know, a lot of these apps are being uh, developed and they are distributed. Earlier it used to be, you know, pretty much like a, you know, walled garden approach where you would go to uh, an, a telco who ultimately controls a customer. But I think today, uh, when you're talking about 600, 700 million plus people, uh, you know, picking up the phone for everything that they need. I think this is the most ubiquitous device that we are talking about. You're practically sleeping with it, you know, 24-7. And I think we are talking about innovation being done at that very level. So let me start with, uh, you know, very interesting, uh, you know, how is the role of telecom being played vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Indian economy right now? And obviously this is the data that everybody knows. Now, obviously, some of the facts about India, which a lot of people, I'm sure, know, but just to reiterate and set the basis for the next five, seven minutes of my talk around that, and then we can we can hear the other panelists as well. We are the second largest telecom market in the world right now, uh, trailing only a little bit behind China. 700 plus million subscriber base. You know, almost tele density is 60 percent, and this is largely urban tele density that I'm talking about. But fastest sales of, I mean, you can you can see the fact that every telecom sector or any state. 10 to 12 players, whether it's sustainable or not, it's a question mark, but I mean, there is a lot of action happening in this market. You have, uh, you know, the, the best of the manufacturers here, a lot of these local brands that have come up in the, in the last maybe year, year and a half. Pricing strategy from these end devices, which are the, you know, which is the consumption device in telecom has moved mm -hmm. from, you know, maybe 15 to 20,000 rupee handset, which is $500 right to up to $100 uh, value of handset that that is able to actually push data and data is what is going to drive the consumer behavior the in next level of innovation that we are talking <coughs> about PDAs are being talked about a lot of other end uh, you know end customer devices are being talked about just uh, over and above the pure play uh, you know calling device which is the phone obviously there are some facts uh, but there is a lot to be still done you know what we have not seen in India as as uh, now is basically uh, the penetration of services. See, still all said and done, you know, all of this data is still talking about voice and basic data, voice and basic SMS. You know, that is what we use the phone for. But I think when we are talking about, uh, you know, the tele-density and the reach in terms of where mobile towers can go into and the technology, other technology trends like WiMAX, BWA coming in in the next 6 to 12 months, I think... Uh, before a rural guy actually gets his fun, uh, first data device, it's not going to be a TV or it's not going to be a DSL line, but it's more likely going to be a mobile phone with some data pipe uh, getting connected. And that is exactly the trend which is, which is showing up in all the data that we're talking about. Obviously, this is like a no-brainer. We have uh, the trend started from metro cities to an urban cities to a rural sector. Rural is still way up there. It hasn't really seen the volume. 
it hasn't seen the the real penetration as yet i mean if you i mean all said and done you know here is an opportunity that we are talking about and here is an opportunity not just for uh, people to develop certain innovations at this market but uh, the numbers say that india is still a very voice centric market you know people like to pick up the phone and talk uh, rather than you know maybe surf or rather than just send a little bit about sms i think that's about it i think most of the people talk about uh, you know actually calling and that is exactly the data which we have i think this is the trend which has moved from the last 5 years has been uh, you know constant there and it's moving more towards the data side of things because of the connectivity issues are being sorted out and uh, connectivity is right up to the to the last mile is being uh, taken care of now i want to talk about maybe spend about uh, a minute or half in terms of what are the innovations that has happened at various levels in telecom uh, value chain uh, very interesting stuff is happening on the operation side of things when i say operations uh, on the on the telecom uh, companies which are the mobile operators or telcos they are sharing infrastructure because you cannot start and being the seventh or the tenth operator you cannot start and roll out the infrastructure from you know scratch so you got to piggyback on somebody who's already done that and share some sort of a revenues so all of that was happening mnp came into india very late but has seen very interesting trend this is the first time that we are talking about people actually switching in in the name of value versus in the name of cost because practically everybody is talking about the same cost model and same cost differentiation you have one pesa per second uh, being already rolled out you cannot go below that i mean uh, that's practically the bottom that we are talking about you know having said that you know very interesting trend that is uh, or the data which which has been shared by all the the telcos that are public is that's very interesting cost model that these guys have built up and abitta margins on uh, most of these telecom companies are very very good it's it's plus upwards of 40 to 50% despite such low arpus because of the whole cost modeling being done by that and very innovative pricing being subjected uh, to the end user i mean we are talking about sashay brace pricing if you cannot afford 30 rupees a month you sure can afford a rupee a day you know but those kind of services are now already launched out and you know you don't have to worry about when we are talking about 600 million people uh with a wallet size of maybe 100 150 rupees as a dispensable income to spend on telecom services so that's an interesting model but we have found our niche in terms of not just operators rolling it out but when we design a product like that as as a local innovation we talk about those sachet based pricing it was technically a a very fmcg led sachet pricing you know when you have this shampoo bottles being sold in 1 rupee 5 rupee sachets that's exactly how services are being sold today that's very interesting happening here innovation in technology i mean i think uh, companies like us for example uh, we are building products which will foster these innovations and the call management data sms so that we are able to actually offer more services to the end customer when whether it's an infotainment led story or whether it's an entertainment led story and I'm, i have a slide on the global trending what are the various consumption of these what are the people consuming these days so i would you know this is more of a technical slide where they're talking about where the trend is moving from the current gsm 3g is being talked about i think all of this will not spend much time here because the fact remains are am i offering simplicity to the end user as an end user i'm not really bothered about whether it's 3g 4g hsdp hsup or whatever i think all i'm talking about can a simple piece of information be given to me in a simplest of the price in the simplest of irrespective of what handset i am holding in my hand irrespective of whether i am sitting in bangalore or i am sitting in a very small small village in tiruchirappalli in down south you know so i think that is what we are talking about so we are moving away from user interface to user experience as the cutting edge uh, you know sort of thought this is a very interesting trend i am sure this is uh, something we saw a couple of guys actually talking about innovative devices which are going to hog the data and the information in the next 2 uh, years or 3 years i mean education sector is going to use it entertainment industry is going to use it this is going to be you know, these are all these devices which are your uh, ipads or which are your pdas or handhelds etc i think all we are talking about making them affordable and making them adaptable to all these bearers of technology that we are talking about now this is a very interesting trend that i talked about if you see india which is colored in green here uh um, this is actually largely uh, a good comparison between an advanced market versus the emerging market story if you see brazil russia india china which is the brick economy uh and you see compare them to india this is also this is transpiring to the mobile internet as well if you see uh, for a serious corporate user email is still all said and done a very interesting um, observation or application games on mobile 
have becoming a trend. If you see that overall downloads that happen, gaming is very, very big. So a lot of companies who are making games, for example, are going to strengthen that even further. And with data usage, uh, you know, being increasing, this trend is going to go upwards as well. Entertainment, music, and sports. I think if you see all of this combined, there is a lot of opportunities in the <laughs> devices that you are going to, uh, you know, make. There is a lot of innovation that is needed in the content because what uh, right kind of content, video, high bandwidth, low bandwidth is going to actually be hogged on these kind of uh, these kind of channels. And these are these are these are the real trends where most of the investment is happening from uh, foreign investments. Most of the product companies are basing their products on these. Most of the device manufacturers, if you really ask me, coming back from Nokia, because we used to, we used to have devices which will be gaming devices, we will have devices which will be music devices, preloaded with music, and further on. So th that is exactly the, the clear preference which is, which is being shown from the mid-market sector. I think mid-market is where you would get a lot of margins from, and rural and the new market is where you get the volumes from. So I think answering another question which uh, one of the panelists had, that you know, you've got to have a mix of these uh, trends and innovations as we go forward. Some of the initiatives that we have taken, of course, I will not take much time. So we have kind of, as, as an organization, for example, uh, you know, classified ourselves into uh, voice applications, data applications, SMS applications. We've made certain applications, and I'm, I'm uh, you know, happy to talk about it offline, and you could look it up on our site as well. You know, how are we actually mapping ourselves? with all these uh, you know, constraints that we're talking about. Constraints of price, constraint of pressure uh, in terms of volumes, uh, competition in terms of uh, operators coming in and rolling out services, and most of them, they're all relevant to the local market. Having said that, now exactly the pain points that we as Indian customers are facing here in terms of price pressures, in terms of connectivities, and all these gray areas, I'm sure people in Africa, people in a lot of these emerging markets have the same set of problems. So very easily replicable models outside of India as well. I've specifically mentioned two slides on, you know, what is the roadmap looking like? You know, we'll see a lot happening on the M-commerce and M-payment size because at the end of the day, when I said that the phone is going to be a ubiquitous device, you will want to do more things beyond just talk to somebody. You would want to give, of course, with adequate measures being taken on the security and all that. You would be able to do microtransactions. For example, if I ask somebody to actually transfer uh, you know, 2,000 rupees from one phone to another phone, he'll be a little jittery uh, because of having not completely understood the security. But if, uh, if I were to transfer 10 rupees or 15 rupees, I wouldn't probably bat an eyelid having established that, okay, it's a small risk that I can still take. So I think it's the, it's the, it's the consumer mindset that uh, most of the Indians have. And they're woking up to the fact that this is the security have been established because we had the same sort of trend in the internet side of things and we're moving, moving way forward to the, to the mobile side of things as well. Healthcare, uh, very basic, very grassroot level has not been taken up either on the application side or on the device side or on the information side by any of the, any of the telco infrastructure or telco companies. And I think this is one big area where we'll see a lot of in information and innovation happening at the grassroot level. Education, as I was saying, one of the, one of the awardees here is a guy who's developed this great uh, product which will be given to, handed out to a lot of these educational institutions. $50 kind of a pricing point. I think this is where the content driving that innovation is going to be the key. Last slide, uh, I think, again, kind of summing up on agricultural, whether we're talking about people on the move uh, or M governance, which uh, Professor Chandra talked about. These are the areas where you will see most of the applications and innovations being done in the next six months to three years to come where we see a lot of these things happening. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much. <laughs>